Okay, here we go right here. This is the online search for um, World Service for World Service Authority, and you can see some of the related information. Now, firstly, we of course base our interest in this subject matter based on the teaching of His Majesty. You can see right here the World Service Authority (WSA) was founded in 1953. 54 is an important year. Remember, also connected with the land grant, 54, 55. Now, this uh, World Service Authority, a nonprofit organization that educates, it educates about and it promotes world citizenship. And this is a very important subject matter for a true Rastafari based on the teaching of His Majesty World Law, right? And you can go further on this. This is the Wikipedia page right there. So they have a location. Um, actually, um, uh, main one of the main offices in D.C., and you can see some of the related information. Of course, you'll find that there is um, there's a lot of dismissive, you know, information like right here. If you depend on Yahoo and type of stuff like that, that they try to like put you off. They try to keep you distracted calling the passport a novelty item and trying to compare it with like something that's fantasy because the the world you understand even saying right here the scam blah 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 so forth and so on but there's there's testimony on it if you learn more about it for yourself so this is just a basic search right here now the interesting connection with the world service authority not just from world citizenship and the teaching of his majesty is I think contained on this particular page. Though so we saw it elsewhere, this is David Icke's page right here, and we noticed at times that they had this um, uh, Syntegrity, this is the Syntegrity project right here, meeting in um, Ethiopia. Syntegration uh, locations to date. So the following cities had run um, Syntegration since the project's launch in July. 1993. Now, the so-called Illuminati and the and the Freemasons and the Anglo-European, the Gentile kind of thing on that level from the government level, they really don't like this because it's the people. It's beginning from the people actually exercising their rights. And you can see some of the link countries right here that had conferences, some of the European countries there, but then coming down like Bangladesh, Egypt, Sierra Leone, Freetown, that was August 1995, Accra, Ghana, 1995, um, Laos, um, Badagri, Laos, uh, Lagos, Lagos, excuse me, Nigeria, December 1995, here, um, Cambodia, Southern South Wolo, Ethiopia, February 1996, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, June 1996, then Freetown, Sierra Leone, then there was Deborah uh, Marcos, Ethiopia, August 1996, Nazareth, uh, Ethiopia, August 1996, even in Shashimene. In Shashimene, there was a disintegration um, project. Remember, all this is based on, first of all, human rights is promoting and exercising we of the people exercising the teaching of his majesty in practical terms. So they had a disintegration in, in Shashimene, Ethiopia in August 1996, as we see right here in Harbu, Ethiopia, November 1996, in Degan, Ethiopia, March 1996, in, in um, Bate, 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 um, Bate, Ethiopia, March 1997, again in Cambodia, Southern Wolo, Ethiopia, 1997, Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone, and again in Cambodia, South Wolo, Ethiopia, 9th, June 1997. Now, the World Integration Project under the auspices of the World Service Authority, it seeks um, global donations to continue this grassroots uh, democratization and constitutional law process so that individuals in cities and towns throughout the world may participate. 
Now, there's some very, very important uh, stuff that uh, teaching and an application of our human rights. But how many of you all even know what the 30 human rights are, the 30 articles of the human rights or which one apply, especially, you know, to our present to our present situation. I'm sorry for the screen right here, but there's some other documentation. Zambia, Zambia is one of the countries that officially recognizes. In most most non um, Western so-called industrialized slave nations, recognize the whole sovereign world citizen project. You understand world citizenship. His message will remain a a fleeting dream to be pursued and never attained if we don't get rid of those other untils and deal with those untils. So so this is the goal, and, and, and the movement is on those other untils, dealing with those untils that His Majesty outlined in the 1968, in the 1968 address at Stanford University. And here we have some of their paperwork and documentation. So this is the David Icke some of the passports and the stamps that have been stamped in different countries. You have to remember that when we talk about human rights, right, human rights, it has to be acted, you know, it has to be acted out upon. So some say, and he's saying in this particular document right here, that um, world, we world citizens declared our global government in 1953, which has been operating for over half a century. But the fact is that it's only, notice this, how many meetings took place in Ethiopia, even Shashimani. How many of you all have even known about or know about this organization or know about this integration project or even the connection with the teaching of his imperial majesty in, in the, one of the most famous speeches of his imperial majesty made famous by um, his highness, uh, uh, Burhana Selassie, a.k.a. Bob Marley, and the Whalers. And like I said, this is some of the locations of this integration project. Now, that's just to make the Ethiopia link on that. You know what I'm saying? Make the Ethiopia, I will make the Ethiopia link on that known and evident. So we're going to show you a couple of pages right here, and hopefully you'll check this out for yourself now. This is also, this is a wiki page, and we learned that right here, if you look, they have um, offices, the World Service Authority, WSA, launched or founded in 1953 as a nonprofit organization that educates about and promotes world citizenship, world law, and world government. Now, there will be a world government, but will it be a government of righteousness or a continuation of the ongoing wickedness? You see, the difference is whether we get involved, you understand, whether we um, get informed first and then get involved. And I'm urging I and I brothers and sisters, the Rastafari in particular, and the Ethiopian Hebrews at home and abroad in general to get involved, get your documentation, get your paperwork right, my brothers and sisters, all right? Um, it is best known for issuing world passports, it has an office in Washington, D.C. That's one of the offices that we have corresponded and communicated with. But then it also has an office in Shanghai, People's Republic of China. You understand? Or oh, they said that, that it closed as of January 1st, 2010, perhaps because China, you know, China has some issues right there. But the fact is that many African nations, if you're traveling from west to east, Many of the African nations and the nations in Africa accept this passport, especially from um, African, you know, it's African people who, who you know, who go, come in the right spirit. Because it's not just the documentation, but it's how you present yourself. And now this explains a little bit more about who's behind it. Now, um, when you go to the, the page, here's the page right here. Here's the page right here. Why don't you check this out? Now, we're saying that this particular issue, if there's any movement, you understand, that we should be about, if there's any documentation or ID that we should have within our document and paperwork, this is one. And we showed you our particular passport 
that we need to update and identification information. Yes, we have utilized this information. You understand? Not as a travel document, unfortunately, but we have utilized this information. So we know that it works when you know your rights and you have enough faith or courage of your convictions to act on it. You understand? That's what it matters. We will fight if necessary, right? So this is this is uh this is the web this is the website you can check out more information there now I went to the, some of the side documents over here right some of the side documents over here right remember how the there was a league of nations united nations we, we as rastafari seriously have to ask well why was his majesty involved in that process and what work did he leave for us to carry out and over the past 40 years we have not you understand? Carried, you know, carried out um, the 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 mission, the the will and testament of our Godfather, the King of Kings. Now, here's some other very very interesting information. Don't have an option to go through it all, but there's like um, official documents here, and on this side you'll see some of the other documents, frequently asked questions. So one should you try to bookmark this site, download it, get more get more informed. You understand this is their legal department, you know, and um, if you're looking for, the, if you're looking to be a trust in trusteeship, if you're looking to be a ward of the state, then then this is not for you. If you are looking for sovereignty, if you're looking to defend and preserve your birthright and to live within the highest sense of human rights, then then this is a very good and positive and progressive steps that all. Members of the society, we highly encourage to get that basic documentation and information. You should have this in your portfolio. So here's the application for um, world government um, documents. There's the registration card. There's the world passport, world birth certificate, world identity card. There's the um, international exit visa, residence permit, the world marriage certificate, the world political asylum card. And all this is based on human rights. In other words, the Human Rights Declaration says that this is your right. You know what I'm saying? In other words, not that they're giving you a right, but it's recognized that these rights come from the Almighty and that we as human beings have this right. And, it, and, it, and, it, um, and all the nations of the world agree to publicize what's in the Human Rights Declaration. And we, we touched on that in a, in a previous in a previous um, vid where we touched on this particular document right here, no doubt you recall this, you know, saying the human rights and what it said, you know, about how, how the text should be publicized and to cause it to be disseminated, you know what I mean, in schools and in universities and to be expounded on. And most folks don't even know about this. You know what I'm saying? And you can see the World Service Authority information on that. This is one of the handout um, human rights uh, declaration in English, all right? This is very, very important, you understand? Now, this is our own passport, you understand, right here, the old passport that we had. Um, I have to update it now, but let's see if we can um, show you, demonstrate this again. You can see, you know, the I and I go, there's the name, so forth and so on you know, teacher, you know, occupation, and then right here, you know, for the information that would be in the past. Well, this was the old handwritten one. Now they have the updated um, type written one, and this is I and I, all right? So this is, um, this is all very important information right here, travel document. See, some people think it's just the 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 U.S. passport is kind of dangerous to travel on, and and will be as time go on because you know time is time for prophecy to be fulfilled. Look how large Africa is. Africa is more or less its proper size right there, if you notice. So we we highly support and encourage one obtaining obtaining this basic, you know, this basic documentation and information for those who are fellow ambassadors and co-laborers, this particular information is, um, is highly recommended 
and perhaps will be required. You know what I'm saying? Will be required. You know what I mean? So this is another documentation, and that's I and I true name in propitia in in propia persona sujuris. This is I and I proper person before the law. So we're just demonstrating some of this documentation in real time, and we have utilized and we still utilize this as identity documentation. You know, this is international. This takes you off of the low local civil civil rights, you understand, and brings you on the international level of law. You understand? Notice whenever the world rulers and the people want to do something big, they always talk about the UN, you understand, and, and human rights and so forth and so on. Yet they don't publicize or make this text known of the Human Rights Declaration, because the first thing you will do is look around and where you're at and say, wait, they're violating not my civil rights, but my human rights, you know what I'm saying, which, is a, which makes it an international case by higher law. And America cannot escape from that higher law because she, too, is a co-signer of this. So she imposes upon other people, and this now gives I and I leverage, you know what I'm saying, as we enter into the the true operation of the King of Kings and his Christ. So we're going to go through some of these pages right here, and, and this is, a, this is the, the passport again. You see, um, the mandate for a world passport, notice this, is in Article 13, Section 2 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Declaration, right? It says, everyone has the right to leave any country, including his own, and to return to his country. They cannot tell us what our country is no more than they can tell us what our nationality is. When you, when you are in your proper person, when you are truly a natural person with inalienable rights, but if you're an artificial person, Negro, black, color, carry around European, false names, so forth and so on, then you are not in your proper person. So they're, they're giving you the information right here. And we're trying to encourage them to include Amharic. So far, it's in seven languages, right, in seven languages right here. Um, and this explains how many pages it has. It's machine-readable because most of the technology has been upgraded for the modern technology. We have a, a older version of it with alphanumeric code line scanned in for passport photograph and the ghost security paper with embedded logo, the data page uh, laminated in seven languages. So it's in seven languages. So hopefully we we can bring it up to eight languages, my brothers and sisters. So join I and I in, in getting on the real level of world citizenship according to the teaching of his majesty so we can defend I and I human rights, you understand, and become global world citizens because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Stop having them divide and conquer you. Every passport is numbered and the page contains, you know, the logo. So it gives you all the basic information here, which you can check out for more. And there is for there's a nation state recognition of the documents here and visas and how to apply for the world passport. You can go basically right there and you get the you know, the information, and as we've been saying, the world passport, it represents what? The inalienable, that's that key word, inalienable human right of freedom of travel on planet Earth. So we're not talking about like a block. We're not talking about a corner or a block or a hood or, or a county or, or a city or, 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 or a state. You, you know what I mean? or even a so-called nation. We're speaking about the planet Earth. You understand? Therefore, it is um, premised on the fundamental oneness or unity of the human community. So basically what these ones need to be complimented on is that understanding that the human rights is just words, as the King of Kings teach, unless the will to, to apply these words. So they have applied these words in a sense they put the faith in the human rights, in that sense, into action and produce this particular document right here, which is a World Service Authority passport, you understand, to, to, to back it up so that the faith with what works is dead. 
So this both show the faith, right, and 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 the work of it. Like Paul, I think it was Paul or James, one of them said, um, well, my faith is such and such. Show me your faith without work. And Paul said, I will show you my faith by my works. So this is showing one's faith in those words and working it out. And this is why so many um, nations of the world, non-European form of slaveholding kind of colonizers, the colonizers don't like this too much because it gives the human people that their God-given rights, you understand? But in modern time, the passport has become a symbol of national sovereignty. You see that key word right there? National sovereignty and control by each nation state, what the modern passport is, right? It gives national so sovereignty. That control works both for citizens within the nation and all others outside. All nations thus collude like in our conspiracy in the system of control of travel rather than its freedom, while they all say they uphold human rights and point at the other person as a violator. If freedom of travel is one of the essential marks of the liberated human being, as stated in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, then the very acceptance of a national passport, right, of a national notice, Passport is the mark of a slave, a serf, or a subject. The world passport is therefore a meaningful symbol and sometimes powerful tool for the implementation of the fundamental human right of freedom of travel. So the more of I and I, you understand, that come together and have this document and use it, you understand, individually and corporately and collectively, we are, we are demonstrating by our action that we are Rastafari, you understand, and that we are natural and free human beings, right, both in the faith and the manifestation. By its very existence, it challenges the exclusive assumption of sovereignty of the so-called nation-state system which is a very modern, you know, kind of a notion. It is designed, which is the age of the Gentiles equals the nation-state system. So we know the age of Gentiles is coming to an end. So we have to kind of get off the Titanic because it has already hit the iceberg. People are just singing and dancing on stage, but the boat is going down. It is designed, however, to conform to nation-state requirements for travel documents. So it conforms to what is proper and right according to the, uh, the, the systemics of it, but it's on a higher level. It does not, however, indicate the nationality of its bearer, only his or her birthplace. It doesn't say what nation, because remember, Human Rights Declaration Article 15 tells you what, you know, it doesn't call you Negro, black, color, whatever like that. It just says where you were born and what your name is. It is therefore a neutral or a political document of identity and potential travel document. And there's so much more on this right here because a passport gains credibility right, only by its acceptance by authorities other than the issuing agent, you know, with recognition. The world passport in this respect has a track record of over 50 years acceptance since it was first issued. Today, over 150 countries have visiated, that means they have given a visa to this travel document on a case-by-case -case basis, you understand? Now, for some folks, that that really don't have faith in human rights, perhaps, you know, uh, the, this would not be good for them. They need to stay a slave, a serf, a subject you know, of, their, of their particular nation, state, while it lasts. In short, the world passport represents the one world we all live in and on. No one has the right to tell you you can't move freely on your natural birthplace. They try to where you're born, like what little cubbyhole, what little block. Well, no, I'm born on the earth. I'm a human being, not a reptilian. So don't leave home without one. And so we're just sharing some of this information from this particular site with, with you all to encourage you when we talk about getting your, you know, getting your paperwork right.
You know what I'm saying? Getting your paperwork right right here. So um, let's see if we got one more page. What's on this next page right here? Um, this is another, okay, how to register as a world citizen. Does His Majesty teach us of world citizenship? And if we are Rastafari, we have to learn what that means and how to go about it. You know, since there are already implementations that exist that need our support, such as the World Service Org, the World Service Authority, you understand, as far as this document, which basically is, is in accordance with the human rights, has been used, it demonstrates, you understand, that higher level that His Majesty has pointed to, this document is very important for us. So, you know, there's much more I could say on this. Now, this is some of the uh, um, corresponding information. Now, you see, Babylon is trying to psych us out that whenever you hear about world government or world citizen or, or one world, you always think of Babylon. You understand? But that's not, that's not so because really the true one world government belongs to Christ. You can read that in Revelation. He takes it from, from the world and from Antichrist in that so-called final hour when so much is going wrong, he just takes it from it and all the kingdoms of the world become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. And this is, this is the stage and age, you know, that we are currently, currently at. So this is some of the other information right here. Okay, that's Lion of Judah. And we've been talking about this particular document, at least here in this record, since 2000. You know, where we speak about the World Service Authority and its information, but now we have a, a wider range to communicate, you understand, with, with INI people at home and abroad. So there's, there's more documentation on this, each one, the passport, the, the, the um, birth card, the world birth certificate, the world identity card. So we're in the stage of nation state. This is the sovereign uh, order of world guards, which I really highly encourage Anas Rastafari um, to become part of, you know, part of that mission right there to secure, you understand, secure the earth for Christ and his kingdom and to expel Satan. This is the time. You understand? This is the time. The question is, are we, are we the righteous Africans? Are we the people? You understand, or doth he wait? Should heaven wait for another generation? All right, enough for right now. I think some of these pages we've already um, shown you already. So anyway, the, the, the true one world, you see, this is in our hands now. This is in our hands. And once again, just to go back to some of those meetings in Ethiopia. Look at all these meetings in Ethiopia right here, even Shashimeni. It's like it's in our lap, but we refuse to accept it. We refuse to nurture it. We refuse to grow it. You understand? And we'll wait until others take it in their image and likeness, and then we're wham, 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 Babylon by Babylon. No, this, this is the last time. And as it says, it ends. It ends now in this present dispensation. Shalom Rastafari.